Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> hey guys, what's going on? Hey everybody, welcome back! What's up, YouTube? Wow, that was painful guys. I hope it wasn't really painful to watch, but let's get going with the video today guys So it's a little bit late. We're already on what day day number seven of the login. I think right it's August 7th guys And I kind of wanted to make a video for you today a little short video Just talking about the August login heroes You have four choices and I want to see if I can make it a little bit easier on you guys on who to choose from these heroes now if you're a, a savage veteran then you already know uh, who to go with because you probably already have all these heroes maxed out but if you're not a veteran if you're new to the game or either if you're just mid mid level if you're new if you're whatever tier you're on right now guys i want to make it a little bit easier for you right now let's go ahead let's take a look at these heroes i want to spotlight each one of them for you individually and tell you my opinion on who i think you know what i mean you should because it's a whole month of login, guys. There's a lot of soul stones that you're going to be able to get. Uh, and the second day, you should have gotten a good amount of soul stones. I'm not sure if it was the full card on day uh, on the second day. But either way, uh, you're going to get four soul stones each time you get one of these boxes. Now, currently, I have four because I used up my main one. So I have four boxes so far. Which means four times four is 16. That means 16 soul stones of any one of these heroes. Now, my decision is very simple. I have Sylphie 7 stars, Volko 7 star, Magnus 7 stars. The only one that I don't have 7 stars is Morphier. So for me, the decision is easy. I'm going to go with Morphier, uh, obviously, because I need to get him to 7 stars. And uh, I guess we can start off right here, guys, because honestly, out of all the choices that we have, Morphier and Volko are very similar in many ways, but they're very uniquely different. In other ways so let's just briefly talk about them so Morphier and uh, Volko guys are your backline attackers both really really high physical damage they're gonna jump into your opponent's uh, side of the field and they're gonna start hitting everybody from the back uh, Morphier more so than Volko is going to attack your opponent's main magic dealers with his ultimate is going to dash behind the enemy with the highest magic attack and release a void blast that deals huge damage to the target and enemies around it so automatically this guy is attacking your enemy with the highest attack whereas where Volko on the other hand his ultimate does AoE damage so Volko's ultimate uh, he moves to the edge of the battlefield then silences enemies within a certain area finally he unleashes a series of long distant physical attacks against an enemy so pretty much he attacks most of the uh, your enemy with a really really high powerful physical uh, damage but it's a little bit different than Morphir because Morphir is going to attack your opponent with the highest damage dealer with the highest magic damage that's the difference between the two uh, while we're on Volko here the difference between Volko now is Volko is going to attack mostly everybody from the back and if you have him awakened this obliterate ability here is going to take his third ability bloodbath and it's going to just make it that much more powerful. So each time he attacks somebody from the back, he's going to get one point. When can he, when he, when he can get a total of three points, then that is going to unleash a devastating physical attack, which pretty much is going to kill. It's an instant kill ability. Now, it doesn't happen that often because hitting somebody from the back three times is not that easy to do because now the battlefield is so chaotic everybody's moving around everywhere it's a little bit harder but if he can get that off he will completely annihilate somebody and destroy him right off the bat there so it's actually a pretty cool ability there all in all uh volko you kind of got to look at as it's a main dps hero that's really all you need him for just dealing high physical damage uh, when we take a look at his stats the difference between morphier and uh, volko is morphier has better defensive stats so let's take a look right now max health for volko seven star is 34 um 34 000 plus another 12 000 so it's roughly around 46 47 000 um physical armor is 1000 magic armor is 800 without the the boost the bonuses whereas morphier even one star below has 44 000 um health plus another 11 it's at 60 what is that uh 50 56 000 which is much higher than Volko's 
Physical armor is 15,000. I mean, 1,500 plus another 700. Magic armor, 1,500 plus another 500. So, better defensive stats. But if we take a look at the top, physical attack, 4,800 plus another 3,900 for more fear. Whereas Volko has 5,400 plus another 1,900. So, much higher attack on Volko, much higher defensive stats on more fear. That is the difference between the two. Both high physical damage dealing. Uh, more fear is more of uh, taking out specific magic dealers on your opponent whereas volko is kind of attacking everybody nobody in particular but still going to your opponent's side of the field and attacking them from the back uh higher physical attack of volko higher defensive stats more fear so uh if you had to choose between the two of these guys honestly you can go with either one guys honestly uh more fear is pretty good in the arena not many other places volko is also decent in the arena but he can be taken out pretty quickly like i said and they're both not really usable in many other aspects of the game so that's why i would put these two guys very equally to each other you can go with either one personally uh, like i said i'm going with morphe because i have to but if i had to choose between the two life or death i would probably go with volko he's cool he, he's fast and uh, he just kicks butt in the arena sometimes, you know, when he can really get going, he's really tough to beat. But other than that, it's very, very equal, guys. So kind of go with whoever you want. It's going to be very similar, in my opinion. All right, guys. So the next option that we have here is Magnus. Now, Magnus is actually a really, really good uh, hero, guys. This guy's got a lot of really cool abilities. Uh, as you can see, I have him awakened. Plus, I have his uh, skin. So don't really judge him on if you can get the skin or not if you have the skin cool if you don't uh it's fine let's take a look at some of his abilities and we can kind of decide on what uh magnus is all about now the best thing about magnus is when you first begin the battle he's got this grenade launcher here so it launches a grenade which deals physical damage to several enemies and then slows them this uh activates immediately when the battle starts guys it's very effective against a lot of a lot of your opponents um Valan can deflect this if your opponent has Valan this is useless it doesn't really do anything but if they don't have Valan it really affects everybody else because once he uh, shoots this grenade the frontline and midline heroes are going to be slowed down and it really could give your team a little bit of a boost initially to kind of get their energy going a little bit faster so that one is actually pretty cool uh his ultimate is actually really good he's going to snipe the weakest enemy dealing physical damage most of the time he might kill them um so that's really good this attack cannot be dodged and is uh guaranteed to crit if the attack kills the target magnus will enter stealth mode sneaking to a part of the battlefield more distant from the enemy and restoring some of his health all right so uh this is a guaranteed crit does a lot of damage and if it does kill your opponent then he becomes invisible for a little while and then he's going to kind of run to the other side of the field as far away from your opponent as possible and start gradually gaining some hp Typically, if the battle is going uh, to the last seconds, it, it lasts a long time and uh, Magnus is still alive, he's going to take out a few people and once he gets going, it's a little bit hard to stop because this guy just starts pulling out his ultimate like crazy, bomb, bomb, shooting everybody right in the freaking head and taking them out. So, I really do like Magnus. Honestly, I like Magnus better than Volko and Morphir. That's why I put I put Volko and Morphir very close together at the bottom this would be my choice above them so i'd rather have magnus than other than those other two guys all right that's kind of why i'm going in order here uh let's take a look at some of his other abilities here so now the bottom two abilities one of them is his skin all right so don't look at that this is if you activate his skin uh we can just take a look at it real quick when magnus kills an enemy with his ultimate other enemies suffer a morale collapse resulting in um so 10 percent morale drop in physical and magic attack this effect can stack up to three times so if he kills theoretically three of your opponents that's 30 percent morale drop to whoever's last but but honestly guys this hardly ever goes past one it could go two but by then think about it that that would mean that he would have to take out two heroes and there's three remaining usually there's like one hero left if that so this one never really makes it to second or third base um but all in all 10 percent is still good enough it's just a little bit of a boost so it's not that big of a difference uh now magic bullets magnus is armed with limited amount of 
uh, special bullets. They will be used when Magnus uses his headshot ability. These bullets will automatically prioritize enemies who are currently using an ability. They have a chance to interrupt that ability and deal additional damage that ignores armor. The amount of special bullets Magnus carries depends on his star level. Uh, so obviously more, if he's 7 starred, uh, he's going to have more bullets. And this one is going to change this one. That's why we leave this for last. The headshot deals physical damage to a single enemy uh, as well as momentarily stunning them. So that awakening ability will turn this one into a special ability. So he's going to stun somebody, but he's going to target your enemy that is about to use um, uh, an ability. So it's going to stop them from using an ability, which is a really, really good ability if you really think about it. So that's why I really do love Magnus, guys. This guy is he's pretty awesome. He can definitely do a lot in a battle. He's really, really good, you know, for the arena. And uh, I would take him above Morphir and Volko. So he would be my second choice. Now on to our best choice. Alright, so obviously our best and final choice is going to be Sylphie, guys. So we have four heroes. Sylphie is the best choice that you can get from this uh, collection of August heroes. So all month long, if you do not have Sylphie, definitely go for Sylphie. If you have her, uh, I would suggest that you probably still use up your Soul Stones to get her as high, you know, as many stars as possible. She just does a lot of good things, guys. I mean, she has been great since I can remember the beginning of the game. And she's still really, really useful for Hall of Legends. Um, not as much for uh, many raids on the top tier anymore, but still for the lower tier raids, you can use her. Uh, she's terrific in the Crucible of Fire. She's great in that. Uh, and then in the arena, she's still very usable, not probably your best hero in the arena but she's usable like i said but you really need her for your hall of legends as well so let's take a look at why she does so well so her first ability here uh she's gonna release a swarm of bats they're just gonna do a lot of damage guys the spirits deal 150 damage to enemies uh summoned or illusionaries so anytime you see uh kong any illusionary or summoned heroes you should definitely roll out your selfie because she's just gonna do more damage to them and take them out quickly all right, and then the great thing about this is when the bats come back or when the, the attack is over, she regains a lot of the health that uh, she has de dealt to her opponent. So she kind of regenerates her own health. That's why she's so good in the Crucible of Fire because she will really um, lose some of her health and then kind of regain it back each wave. And it really, really um, you know helps her out. So Sylphie is assisted by a flock of bats, which attack enemies over a large period, dealing magic damage. The bats deal 150% damage to enemy summon units. So this is exactly uh, like the first one, except it's her first ability that she comes into the battlefield and she releases this crazy uh, bat wave attack and their ultimate just lasts a while longer. Uh, she's got the silence here, which is always you know helpful when you're attacking anybody really, so that helps out her fourth ability Sylphie sorcery skills improve under pressure whenever she uh, takes damage equivalent of 20% of her max health her magic and physical armor are buffed so anytime somebody hits her with a really powerful attack that's 20% of her health uh, or more then she's going to increase her magic armor and physical armor so in the long run that will help out uh, another boost there and then her final awakened ability here is phenomenal all heroes that have the medallion the Sorcerer's Medallion are going to get a Magic Pierce rating by 214. And uh, essentially this Medallion is the best in the game because it includes pretty much every Sorceress in the game. Which is all the female heroes and there's so many good ones literally. They're all really really good to use essentially in one way or another. But uh, sh because you awaken your Sylphie you're going to open up this whole world of sorcerers that get a lot of um, more damage out so that's why this is one is the most important one in the game guys so like I said go with Sylphie she is your best choice out of all these four heroes here and uh, I'm going to go right now with Morphir like I said before because um, well my Morphir is lacking in the stars department as you can already tell everybody else is seven star and Morphir is inferior so we're still got a long way to go in this month obviously but in the meantime i'm going to keep rolling out with more fear i don't think obviously we're gonna have enough for me to get them to seven star but it's gonna be close we're at 219 out of 500 yeah yeah i don't know we might be close by then or we might not be but 
Either way, I really hope this video helped you guys out to make kind of a decision on who to go with. I kind of broke it down. If you're new to the game, uh, you don't really have any of these heroes. You can kind of know who to go with. And uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Worst effing gamer. I'm out.